Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to look at something that's really wild. Because of these special relativistic effects, when things are moving really fast and we have observers looking at things from different perspectives, very strange things happen. And for example, let's say we have observer A in a reference frame called S and we call S the stationary reference frame. So this is not moving, it's stationary. We have another observer, B, who is on a moving reference frame, moving to the right at velocity u. And both of observers, both the observers are looking at an event which may be moving in any given direction. And the question is, how fast is that event moving relative to A and relative to B? So for definition, we let u be the velocity of the moving reference frame. So u is the velocity to the right. And of course, that is in, rel in relationship to the stationary reference frame. So u is the velocity of s prime, the moving reference frame, relative to the stationary reference frame. v is the velocity of the event as seen by the observer in the stationary reference frame, observer a, and v prime is the velocity of the very same event as seen by s prime or the observer on the moving reference frame. And v and v prime will not be the same. So as an example, let's say we have a spaceship <clears throat> that's moving at 0.9c relative to the Earth. So let's say that this is the Earth. Then let's say that the spaceship shoots out a missile at 0.8c relative to the spaceship. Then how fast is this missile moving in relationship to the observer on the Earth? What is the velocity as seen by observer on the Earth? <clears throat> Excuse me. So how do we do that? Well, there's an equation that relates these to one another. The equation is that the velocity as seen by observer on the Earth or observer on the stationary reference frame is equal to V prime plus U divided by 1 plus V prime U over C squared. So that's the equation that relates U, V, and V prime to each other. So the only thing we have to do now is is what is considered V, what is considered U, and what is considered V prime in our example. So, let's say that this is the stationary reference frame, and let's make this the moving reference frame. So this is going to be S prime, and this here is going to be S. And S prime therefore has a velocity U, and that velocity is then the same as the velocity of the spaceship, so we're going to call U equal to 0.9C, which is the velocity of the reference frame, and of course on that reference frame we're going to have another observer, let's call this observer, observer B, moving along with the reference frame, move along with the rocket, and so then we have our stationary observer right here on, on, uh, on S. And of course, then we have decided that U is equal to this. Now, this is going to be the event. So let me circle the event. Here we go. And the event is moving in relationship to the Earth and in relationship to observer on B. And we said that this event was moving at point eight C relative to the moving observer. Since V prime is the velocity of the event as seen by the moving observer, we're going to then say that V prime is equal to 0.8C. Then the only thing left to do is to find out what V is equal to as seen by the stationary observer, and so we're going to use that equation right there. So V is going to be equal to V prime. Now V prime is 0.8C, and remember that direction is important. If something is moving to the left, you have to account for negative velocities. Something is moving to the right, those are positive velocities. So V is equal to V prime, which is 0.8C, plus U. U is the velocity of the observer in the moving reference frame, which is 0.9C, divided by 1 plus V prime, which is V prime right here, 0.8C, Multiply it times 0.9c, which is u, the velocity of the observer, divided by c squared. Right away you can see that this c times this c is c squared, so that cancels out with the c squared down here. So this becomes v is equal to 0.8 plus 0.9, or 1.7c. And you can see, of course, that if there were no relativistic effects, observer on the Earth would see the velocity of the missile, where it is, right here, the missile, moving at 1.7c, because you simply would add up the velocities. Of course, you know that can't be, because nothing can move faster than the speed of light. And so we divide that by 1 plus 0.8 times 0.9, which is 0 0.72. 
So this becomes 1.7c divided by 1.72, and that will tell us what the velocity of that event is of the missile as seen by the observer on the Earth. So 1.7 divided by 1.72, and we get 0 0.988, so 0 0.988c, and that is the velocity of the event as seen by the station observer left on the Earth. And that's how you deal with relativistic velocities. Again, as a summary, remember we have three velocities. The velocity of the moving reference frame relative to the velocity of the stationary reference frame. We have the velocity of the event as seen by the stationary observer. We have the velocity of the event as seen by the moving observer. And whenever you're given a problem, you have to figure out which is which. And once you have that set up, then you can apply the equation and it's fairly easy from there. So I'll show you a few more examples where things are a little bit different and where you might have to apply the equation twice because not enough information is given to plug it in for the very first time. But that's for the next video, so stay tuned if you're interested in this.